Why would you not tell me that you had a two man? I mean, we were just playing a game. That's never not have a game. I ever. No, we were game. playing never have I ever. So. But we're in a relationship. How could you not tell me that you did a whole two man? Like you trying to embarrass me or something right now? We don't talk about how many bodies or nothing like that. Like that was just We talked about a lot. You had a no, whole no, no, no. threesome with two dudes and that's something that you think you couldn't tell me about? No, it's not threesome. It's actually like four people. But Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo. Wait, wait, she said it was four dudes. Yo, the relationship is done. The relationship is over. What? Why would she even admit to that? That's the point. That's besides the point. I just was, I was just playing a game. Why That's not so a sad? game. Like, you over here getting trains wrong on you. That's how it's no, a game. No, no. No, that's not. But that sounds like that. What, what, you said a whole. You said four people. That's okay, not like a train to me. Okay, but I that's was younger. Train. Like, that, why does it matter now? What we you mean? Now? It matters because you never told me this, and you waited to tour around a group of people. To t my oh, girl is out here having trains. One on your feet. The problem God, with that? Like, like that's what? That's not cool. No, that's not I think okay. you're misunderstanding. No, it's a game. That is. And nothing. I just answered the question. Even though I know this is a skit, these skits provide the basis for conversations that we need to have. A lot of y'all are gonna say, what happens in the past stays in the past. In some situations, yes. But no man wants to find out that his queen allowed other men to treat her like a peasant. Because getting a train ran on you, getting a two man ran on you, that's peasant behavior. Every man wants to know and wants to feel that his woman was a queen before she became his queen. Meaning that any man you had before you is jealous of the kingdom that you and your man are building together. They want to be him. It's guys out here that wouldn't mind. It's guys out here that don't care. Shoot. It's guys out here that take their wives to swingers clubs and sit there and watch four, five, six, seven dudes take her ass to Stroke Island. You allowing other niggas to play Dungeons and Dragons with your bitch. No. There's not an ocean between us and South America. Around it. In between it. We're not connected. We are literally... North America and South America, are no they're not. No, it's not. Wait, there, it's that one. Central America! Pull up a map right now. Oh, that's us in Canada's area. Mm -hmm. Antarctica's a little bit up top to the left. Yes. And then you go down, and that's Mexico. That's still us. Correct. Oh, shit. No. It's Damn! I've, well, I've looked at the map my whole life. It's a little, then you look at it wrong, see, you see, stupid bum. We get that globe. <laughs> yeah, get that globe. And, I, Cam, I'll pay you $1,000 if there's not an ocean between us. I'll pay you $1,000 right now. You will have to give me $1,000 if you put your hand up. There's water all over. There's oceans to the left. That's in ocean. between. There's oceans to the right. The land connects. No, it does not. Which one's us? They're all the same. Oh, shit me. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> no, oh, this is an shit. updated one. No, 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 no. That's never been there. That's always there. That, that is, is that is Central America. That's Mexico. Yes. They go, what about all the other ones? Little names right there. It's all the same thing. It's Mexico. Mexico. That's, that's not Mexico. Mexico. That's a different country in the same land. Yeah. That's possible? Just how we have different states in the same land. There's not an ocean between us and... Yo, imagine being this man's geography teacher and watching this podcast and realizing that you failed him as a student. I'm gonna let you slide, bro, because it has been other episodes where you have said some profound shit. So I'm gonna let you slide. But this is crazy work. You damn Mexicans? I do. Hey, are you damn me? Bro? I would. Bro? What about me attracts you? I don't know, you seem cool. You seem chill. Can I get your number? Before you leave? You want my number? This is for you. I, no, no, seriously. I like no, black girls. Really? I like black girls. I'm not gonna lie, y'all get the best head. Here. No, I don't do that. You don't have to give me head, I'm just saying. Here. Oh, She's trying to give me a number. Up, bitch. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, her friend like, is fire. That's not even her number. Look, 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 Hey, that's a real friend. She came back for you. Yo, this man is bold. I can't believe this man came out of his face and said that. Y'all give the best head. That is crazy. I hate to judge a book by its cover, but I'm going to do it. She looked like she a throat goat. She looked like she gets wild. That's probably why her friend came back to get her. I'm going to be honest now. I haven't had a throat massage from every race, so I can't really judge. But I would say the best masseuse I done had with <laughs> he was finna say too much 
you was about to say too much. Um, Lord, have mercy. Why do you wear suits everywhere? Every place you wear a suit. Okay. Why do you wear that hair everywhere? Ooh, wee. You ain't playing around. It's the same reason that you said earlier. That's why I wear the suit. She about to cry! She about to cry! <laughs> That was diabolical. Man said, the same reason you wear that hair everywhere is the same reason I wear the suit everywhere. I get what he's trying to say, you know? It's the upkeep appearances, <laughs> okay? She might be bald up under there, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, brother. You didn't think that went all the way through. <laughs> and I think that's why it came out like that, because he didn't mean nothing by it. <laughs> Really? Stop oh, recording. Come on. Really? In front of the fucking house? Stop recording. Don't worry. I'm, I'm unlocking. In front of the... How's your face, bro? How's your face? Really in front of the house? Bye. In front of the house. Okay, bye. In front of the house. Okay, bye. The only day I wake up early. This is what you're doing out here? Okay, bye. Six Wait. in the morning. She has a leash on. Oh. He was dog walking your girl in front of that house, boy. Yeah, I heard. In front of the house. Bye. In front of the house, bro. Bye. Can I have my shirt? Bye. You got, bro. In front of the fucking house. Okay, bye. In front, of... in my fucking truck. Bye. Damn. Bro, how long you been talking to her, bro? Uh, just she didn't tell you about me. No, obviously bro, not. Right in front of my okay, bye. House. Bye. I'm, I'm getting my shirt and I'm leaving. Bye. I'm leaving. Can I get my shoes? Grab your shirt, bro. At least you're being respectful bro, to the guy. Just get, get on. Get out of here, bro. He gave him a dab it's and all that. Get out of my car, bro. Okay, bye. Get out of my fucking car. I can't even get mad at him. You know it's crazy? I was dealing with this chick. She told me how her boyfriend broke up and he moved out. The boyfriend lived with her and her moms. She told me that he moved out. Son wasn't trying to pay rent. He was just a bum, whatever, whatever, right? So I borrowed my man's car. I go over there. Crazy, right? She calling this man a bum, but I'm pulling up in somebody else's car. Anyway, I borrowed my man's car. I go over there. We in front of her crib. One thing led to another. And I'm in there killing her shit. Actually, you know, I wasn't killing her shit. She was killing me. You feel well, pause. That don't sound right. But she was on the roller coaster. Put two and two together. As time progressed, the truth comes out. The truth comes out that they never broke up. This man was in the house on the PlayStation while I was taking his woman to Stroke City in front of their crib. They live in like a cul-de-sac, so it wasn't exactly in front of their crib. It was a little over. But Technically, it was still in front of their crib. I never forgave her for that to this day. The reason why I never forgave her for that is because that shit could have ended so bad. Mans could have came outside and took my head off, and I wouldn't have known why. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. So oh, once you go black, I come back. Hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> what is the minimum salary for your future husband to make? At least a hundred k. At least a hundred k. At least probably it, more than that. Honestly. Is this like with like your ideal family and everything? Yes. How many kids do you plan on having? None. 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 I don't want kids. Let me let me say this. A hundred k is not a lot of money, dog. You can live comfortably with a hundred k, but. Don't think you're going to make 100 k and now you rich. No. The black man, Mexican man, white man. What's your favorite? Take a guess. I said the white boy. No, wrong. The black kids? You got me there. She love the black really? man. Oh, yes. Well, you know what they say, though. Once you go black... I've gone back. There's so many videos been popping up about interracial dating. Talking about interracial dating, on the video I, I dropped yesterday, I was talking about when a... Black woman tells a black man that he looks like he dates white women. She's basically saying that you can't handle black women. Mother f People was borderline coming at me. I don't believe women should be handled. I can, you know what? I don't blame y'all. Some of y'all are new and you haven't seen previous videos where I've thoroughly explained that I hate when women say 
you can't handle me. Women aren't meant to be handled. There was a lady in the comment section that asked, she asked like, what is the difference? I feel as though white women have more patience. Not all. It's like a cultural difference in the way we approach relationships. White ladies are more tolerable to some of the bullshit that men do. I have male family members who aren't the best male role models. They date white women and I see the type of stuff that they do. And that not just one, multiple white women over the years. Because these guys that I'm talking about are in their 70s now. And over the years, they have brought multiple white women around our family. And we just see the type of bullshit that they do. Eventually, these ladies reach their boiling point and call it quits. But the things they put up with through the relationship, I know for sure most black women would not. I'm not saying all. I'm just saying most. What's the worst thing you've done to your ex? Slept with his friends. How, how would you rate that on a scale from one to ten? His friend was a one. I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't regret that at all. It's about what I did, but I don't regret the service. What's the worst thing you've <sighs> Let me ask y'all a question. If you had a friend and one day you go to your friend's house and your friend's girlfriend makes a pass at you, are you taking her to Stroke City and telling your friend later? Or are you going to shut that down, then go tell your friend? I want to hear the answer. Like, I would love to hear the answers to that. Because I feel as though if your man's willingly f your girl and then come to you to expose her, that's not a friend. That's something that he has always wanted to do. He has always been plotting on her. He has always been plotting on your relationship. And I will say this, misery loves company. You ever notice you when you have single friends, they always try to make being in a relationship sound like the worst thing ever. They try to make you feel bad about being committed to your girl. Be wary of that. Oh, look, I'm going to give you an example, right? Me and my boy Goya. Me and my boy Goya. Goya had brought this young lady to my crib when... I was in college. I've known him since he was like 16, so I had to, at that time, he had to have been 18, but he still lived with his moms, and you know, I had, I had my first apartment when I was like 20, feel me? So, automatically, I had the free crib. It was a young lady he was talking to. He was trying to find a spot to take her to Stroke City. He hit me up. I was like, shit, you could take her to my crib, bro. Just, when you come, I'll leave. So he brought her to the crib, and as promised, I gave him the key, and I left. Fast forward about a year. Fast forward about a year. The same young lady saw me on the bus. We just started having a conversation. We ended up exchanging numbers. As soon as I got off that bus, on my walk down that hill, I called my boy Goya, and I said, Hey, bro, you remember such and such that you brought to the crib? He was like, Yeah. I like, bro, I, I think she's trying to holler. Now, I forgot to add that he did not complete the mission when I gave him the free crib. That was a different Goya at that time. Goya now, well, not now, he married. But in between those times, that Goya would have completed the mission. He didn't complete it back then. So anyway, so he didn't, he didn't, you know, he didn't take her to Stroke City. So I told him, before I took it to the next step, I called him, hey, me and Shorty was on the bus. We started talking. We exchanged numbers. Before it go any further, I want your permission, bro. Are you still on that? Is that something, you know, you done with? Or are you going to spin the block since you didn't complete the mission last time? Because if you're going to spin the block, I ain't going no further. My man said, shit, do your thing. The way I look at it, if you take it down, then shit. And man, I take it down too. That, that's an assist for me. Right? So I took it down like two days later. <laughs> I took it down like two days later. But I'm I'm saying all that to say, bro, that's that's how I move, bro. If you was on something and now she on me, before I move any further, I want to get your feelings on the situation. The reason being, bro, sometimes be fronting dudes be speaking way more cool than what's going on here they be they be talking but that's not how they be feeling if you was talking to her and now she trying to talk to me before i go any further i want you to tell me that it's okay because the last thing i want is for you to say i step on your toes 
The last thing I want is for you to say, oh, you a snake. You went behind my back. The same guys that'll come out and say bros before hoes will come out and call you a snake.